Moving on to the national matter, the federal government says it is working to inject sanity into the social media space, which has gone totally out of control. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, disclosed this at a media briefing on Tuesday in Abuja. According to him, no responsible government will sit by and allow fake news and hate speech to dominate its media space because of the capacity of this minister to trigger a national conflagration. The minister solicited the support of the media to banish fake news and hate speeches from the media space. The government had, on July 2018, inaugurated a national campaign against fake news and hate speech, and he had taken the campaign to the doorsteps of many media houses. The minister said, though the campaign had brought discussions on the menace to the front burner, fake news and hate speech had been going worse. Mohammed emphasized that government in sanitizing the social media would not muzzle the media or stifle the freedom of speech. No amount of attacks, sponsored or otherwise, will stop us from implementing these recommendations. Two, that any responsible journalist has nothing to fear from these recommendations. Thirdly, that only anarchists and non-patriots will kick against these recommendations. We, we said it several times, we have absolutely no intention to stifle the, the media. We have no intention to gag journalists. But we do not want to make equate hate speech with free speech. With, 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 with free speech. There must be a point where a nation must responsibly take action. Otherwise, it will simply see it's the, the, the very fabric society being torn apart. In Rwanda, over 800,000 lives were lost to hate speech alone. In Nigeria here, we've had you know, instances of pandemonium and confusion. At the end of the day, it's all about fake news or hate speech. So for those who want to engage in disseminating fake news and uh, hate speech, there will be no rest for them. We will make sure that these laws are implemented and that anybody who runs foul of these new recommendations will be punished accordingly.